This is a true story. On November 5, 1983, in the northern sea area of Norway, a team of four divers was working, as usual, on an offshore gas field. Two of them, Roy and Eddie, had just completed their task and were returning to the decompression chamber via a diving bell. The other two team members, responsible for connecting the diving bell to the decompression chamber, were already on the platform. At that moment, the pressure inside the diving bell was approximately nine atmospheres. The correct procedure required that, after connecting the diving bell to the decompression chamber and equalizing the pressure, an operator from the outside would open door A of the diving bell. The two divers would then enter through a connecting tunnel into the decompression chamber, close the chamber door, then the outside operators would close the diving bell door and finally unlock the safety mechanism and detach the bell. However, what actually happened was that after the two divers entered the decompression chamber, the external personnel closed door A without verifying that the chamber door was fully shut. Then, they unlocked the system between the bell and the chamber. Due to the enormous pressure difference, the diving bell was ejected like a bullet. The two workers on the platform were hit directly. One died instantly, and the other was seriously injured. But even more tragic was the fate of the four divers inside the chamber and the living module. The pressure dropped suddenly from nine atmospheres to nearly one. Roy and Eddie's bodies were literally pulverized instantly, in an explosive jet, dying on the spot. Even more tragically, the door between the decompression chamber and the living module was not closed at that time, and the two divers who were sleeping inside died as their bodies exploded from the pressure difference. Let's hope they didn't feel the pain. This is the infamous Biford Dolphin tragedy, considered one of the most horrific and violent deaths in history.